It is June 12th, 2018. We're here at 7315 Casper Drive in San Diego, California, 92119. We're here in the backyard of the house. This is the wall corner right outside the master bathroom. We have two cleanouts in the ground. The first one here uh, would lead right to the shower stall across. And then around the corner, we have another lid as well. It's just like this for the main sewer behind the toilet. The main sewer access that's behind the toilet, the threaded plug, it's like you see right here, has never been removed, it looks like. And so we tried to remove it and it won't budge. It's gonna have to be cut um, and replaced with a, a plastic one to get that off and probably be broken to do so. So we're gonna try to go down through this line and see if this leads directly into the main sewer as well, either from the shower stall that's behind this part of the wall or if it's just another access point that they'd created off the way it was piped. Um, we'll see if it's a dead end or go somewhere at least here. So we're gonna try to get our camera through this pipe here and see if we're able to maneuver it down the line. Okay, so we can see this is original cast iron pipe. Here we have a T-junction right here. Now that may be possibly where the shower dumps into the line. Um, it looks like it's off to the right of the camera. This is a self-leveling camera and I believe the sink is on the left hand side. Um, so we'll go and run some water when we come back but we're going to continue down the line right here. So far the cast iron looks in overall good functional condition. Typical buildup, scaling and deposits on the walls but nothing severe that needs a cleaning or jetting or anything worrisome yet. Here's another T-junction right here. That T-junction right there is probably where the kitchen uh, dumps into the system more than likely. Looks like this is a 3-inch cast iron pipe, does not look like 4-inch. A little bit of debris right there in the pipe. Like we have a possible T junction right there, or no, it's just a shadow maybe of the pipe. It's kind of hard to say. Could be where the other bathroom starts to empty into the system. Here's another T junction right here. That may be where the laundry uh, from the garage empties into the system. Some debris hanging up in the line right there. This looks like that's a T junction, so that actually may even be the laundry right there. Some small lint and debris coming into the pipe. We'll run water on our way back through the fixtures um, to verify which T junctions are which. Or we'll first go down the pipe here and see how far we can get from this clean out before we possibly have to go up onto the rooftop vents. We did not see any clean out access points on the system in the front yard. Okay, here's a turn on the system here. Again, cast iron pipe still looks in good condition for its age. Minor buildup and deposits. It's a little bit of scaling, but Nothing of any concern. Completely functional right now. Just a little bit of debris caught up on the pipe there.
here's our property line. So this is where the pipe's going to be making a vertical downturn, and there's actually a T-junction on the line. So you can see right there, there's our T-junction. So this is where the horizontal pipe becomes partially vertical going down, and then when the house was originally built, there was a clean out um, well below grade that was then capped off, done for test purposes, but was never brought to surface. New homes are required to do that now, older homes they did not. So we'll see if we can make this transition and turn right here. Again, this is a hard vertical turn on the line. We're out quite a distance. Sometimes if we run water, we may be able to go ahead and make this turn. Otherwise, we're going to have to try from the rooftop, which will be a little bit closer from another vent access. Okay, so we just made that vertical downward turn, and you can see it immediately goes down a short distance, and then what it's going to do is make another vertical turn to become horizontal again. So this is, we're probably not going to get very far, if at all, on here. But what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to pause the video for a second and run some water through the system, see if that can create some force and reduce the friction and get our camera just a little bit further past this turn. Okay, so we have the utility sink um, that's connected actually to the laundry drain, same pipe, running cold water, and we flushed the toilet one time. So we'll see if we can actually get a little bit of movement on our camera with that water to finagle through here. It's unlikely because we've gone through a few turns already, and this is two quick 90s in a row. So from this area, it's unlikely we're going to be able to maneuver past this at all. Okay, so we're not going to be able to push past this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video, um, get the water stopped, see if we can go ahead and get a different camera through there. Actually what we'll do is we'll leave the water running here for a second. We're going to go ahead and pull the camera back through the part of the line here just so we can see which one of the T-junctions was the laundry. Okay, so we pulled back a little more than half the way. You can see as we come forward here, just a few more feet, there you go. So there's the T-junction, uh, that is where the laundry and everything is dumping into the line. And that's where we had that little bit of debris hanging off the pipe um, that we saw. That was, in fact, some of the little bit of laundry um, lint and debris dropping into the piping system there. So we're now going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to go ahead and locate the buried clean out up front, and then we'll try to access it with another camera. Okay, so with the first inspection we were just in, we went ahead and moved over to the rooftop. So our camera is still in the main sewer from the backyard clean out. We did locate the property line clean out uh, right in front of the sidewalk and we'll eventually move our camera equipment over to there to show its location um, on the video recording here. But right now we're over the kitchen skylight and this is the ABS plastic vent for the kitchen line. The kitchen was remodeled so we have a new vent pipe here. We'll see if there's a lot of turns. Well you can see there's one turn already. Um, We'll see if it's the same thing, if we're able to get through all this or not. Um, here's our next 90, and then we're going to finally head down, and then it'll eventually run across. We're going to have another 90 coming up. Here we go. So, we may or may not be able to continue down this piping here because of the 390 feet elbows. We're using a different camera. We're using the smallest camera out there. It's a 5 8 inch camera. We have a different stiffer push rod on here, but we may not still be able to get through this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run a little bit of water, and we may try one other camera that may possibly finagle through there. So we're going to pause the video again. Okay, so we brought up a second camera that has a little bit more flexible push rod. A little bit bigger camera head, but it may be able to push and get at least into part of the system. 
we just wanted to check out part of the drain underground to see if it was still original cast iron or if it was all replaced um, with ABS to a, a long portion of it. As far as the main sewer, we didn't see a new T-junction in plastic, so uh, majority of the uh, kitchen should still be cast iron since it would have been a big project to dig it up. So even this camera is not getting very far past those multitude of 90 degree turns. Maybe in part of the line. We're going to run some water down here, see if that helps in any way, shape, or form. Otherwise, we will not be able to inspect the kitchen line. Okay, so we currently have water running, and we have not yet reached um, the portion where the tea from under the sink dumps into the line. So we're not going to be able to inspect any of the kitchen drain line. Um, there's no other clean out. Um, the back side of it was the kitchen. If it ever had one, was a room was added on, and there's nothing under the sink. So um, it's we don't expect that there would be any issues. Obviously, on occasion, it may need to be snaked and cleaned out um, for stoppages, and that would need to be done from under the sink, not from the rooftop. We will go ahead and pull our other camera back that's in the main right now and we'll show the T-junction of where the kitchen empties in to show that it is obviously functional right now and draining into the system properly at least. Uh, but again, we are not able to inspect it and we cannot verify how much is plastic, how much is cast iron on, on the run because uh, it does run across the entire length of the house and then um, we won't be able to tell obviously um, if there's any heavy buildup or anything like that in there um, to know when, how long it might be uh, before it would have to be snaked. So we'll go ahead and pause the video, pull these cameras out. Okay, so we're here at the clean out, which was about 90 some odd feet out almost. And we're now coming back across the system to see the water that's running uh, across the bottom of the pipe. That is, of course, like we just mentioned from the rooftop, that is the kitchen drain line. So coming back across here. We're going to do this rapidly since we've already seen all this pipe, but we don't want to miss that T-junction in case it's earlier or later than what we suspected where the laundry dumps in. Okay, still that's the 45. We're headed back across the garage area essentially right now. That was the laundry dump in right there. We just want to remind everybody that was the spot right there where the laundry was emptying into. Let's see if that was our kitchen. Still have water running. So that other T junction was from one of the other bathroom. Um, as we come back here. Okay, so here's our kitchen emptying in right there. So there's the T-junction where it's a 3 by 2 fitting and it's all cast iron and that's where it's as you can see cleanly dumping into the system and operating uh, functionally good for now. So we're now going to go ahead and pause the video and move our last camera up onto the rooftop from the hall bathroom and see if we're able to get out past the buried property line clean out and under the sidewalk and into the street lateral. Okay, so we moved back down to the rooftop over the hall bathroom. We've actually pushed our camera all the way down. We have a special hybrid camera here with two push rods. And so we're back out to that buried property line clean out. So here's that T junction. So going down that vertical, we're going to see if we can get this camera down and across any of this. There we go. So we just got in. It appears that we may have transitioned immediately into clay pipe. So now it's still a hard turn. So we're going to pause the video and now turn some water on. See if we can now push this camera system farther out across this line. Okay, we have a couple faucets running and we flush both toilets. You can see that water. And it's not a guarantee we're going to get through this. But we're going to give it our best try here.
looks like we're hanging up. We're just not able to. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video while we give this a couple more attempts. Okay, well, you see the water splattering around on the screen right at this 90, the last turn where the cast iron ends and the clay begins. This is uh, in the front yard before you get to the sidewalk headed out towards the street. So we are not able to get through this and farther down the clay pipe. We always want to check the clay pipe um, because of always possible root intrusions. Um, no major super large trees right here other than palms on this street. So should be clear uh, we just can't guarantee it and there's no way to access it all the cleanouts on the property um, are two inch vents or two and a half inch clean out the farthest spot of the property uh, nothing shorter um, and again because we have two 90 degree turns really close to each other that's preventing any of the cameras we have from making those and continuing down the line it binds up the push rods so you can see we're pulling back up there's the first 90 Coming up the vertical, and here's the for, uh, the second 90 we had to come through. So it's a big S-shaped, um, and so it's not going to allow us to continue down the system across that clay. Um, the line is draining perfect and is completely functional right now. Uh, we can't guarantee the rest of that clay pipe. Um, if it ever became an issue, um, then again, the buried clean out that we're going to show in the front yard is what would need to be accessed um, to be able to snake uh, that line out with large cutting bits or hydrojetting rotating nozzles and or camera the rest of that. So we're going to pause the video now. Okay, so we moved off the rooftop. Uh, we apologize our video might have acted up there. I don't know if it kept recording or not. Um, but we moved over to the front yard. So you can see here the sidewalk, the landscaping, and just across from the second step up, see the red discs here and the yellow discs in line. That's the pathway of the sewer system pipe. And the yellow disc denotes right about where that buried clean out was the original property line one from the when the house was built it's a cast iron T junction right there so with the yellow disc the horizontal pipe stops it goes down vertically just for a foot or so and then another 90 and then becomes clay and then runs across and out to the street so this is right at about 30 inches away from that edge of the brick right in front of the second step up and then straight it forward from the brick little landscaping edge. We're right at about 44 inches. So this is synthetic grass. Normally we would go ahead and mark with some green paint, um, but obviously we can't do that on this synthetic grass compared to natural grass that it would grow out and, and wash off easier. So that's why we're just showing these right here. So that would be the area if it ever had to be dug up to expose that clean out because the line is running under all hardscape um, and then concrete and brickway so um, you don't want to put one on this other horizontal line you need it right here uh, right at the first uh, 90 degree junction which is a T junction actually so again we don't suspect there's any issues right now um, the line is completely functional and draining out good we weren't able to get through the kitchen line um, if it ever backs up you could cut into the line under the sink and camera at that time um, but we don't suspect that there's gonna be any issues with that other than general snaking so that concludes this recording